Ballard is the bowler. He's bowling to Bitter Mooney, the man who made 190 in the first innings, and five runs have already been taken from the first over from Agnew. There's plenty of gaps on the leg side. Just a bit of Pocock could turn his arm over quite a bit, one feels here today, this uh, pitch. I think there's a problem here for Paul Allett. He was coming in uh, very carefully on that last ball there. And uh, certainly a suspicion of a slight limp there. So he's... Uh, Beating a very hasty departure now. After just uh, ten minutes play here this morning, having bowled just a single over. Another well, beautiful shot. Feet in the right position, clipped away. And the first boundary of the innings. What a good shot it was, Tom. They're beautifully correct, these Sri Lankan batsmen. Back foot right behind the line of the ball. Perfect balance there. And the shot repeated, a little finer this time. down there square of the wicket on the offside it's been a favorite spot to him off the bowling of both and beautifully caught so both and strikes Betty Mooney goes and a very useful delivery there from both of Caught Betty Mooney trying to push it on the onside, bowled him two or three in swingers, that one cut away. And the first man's out with 19 on the board. And yet another milestone there for Ian Botham with the departure of Betty Mooney. That equals uh, Fred Truman's Hall of Test Wickets. His uh, 307th wicket in uh, Test Cricket. Another no ball. There should be three runs here. Well, there he is. It's his 307th wicket for IT Botham. 73 tests. So he picks him up, but. Uh, well over four wickets a match. Oh, my bold. Beauty. It's both of them's morning so far. A bit of irregularity there about the run-up. It finished up another excellent delivery. And Madagali goes bowled by both of them. This certainly looks a useful delivery. Coming up the hill and hitting right at the top of that off stump. So Botham goes ahead of uh, Truman now in the test match wickets, 308. as it goes, was another no ball. Caught the outside edge and it's four more going on his analysis. It's good shot. Dasher indeed.
That's the right word, Richie. He's a real thriller if anything's anywhere near. He has a, a real go at it. cover drive and another no ball actually you can also see that he's being penalized for an indiscretion of about half an inch or three quarters of an inch there which doesn't say very much for uh, the law itself it's a chase for Donald Topley Peter Roy Dyers. 50 comes up for Sri Lanka in their second innings. Loss of two wickets, 23 to silver. Dyers now four. look at that again because it's going to be very close to the perfect drive through extra cover and there, nobody at mid on no chance for me to listen so I've got the speed to save the four Three comfortable runs for Roy Dyers. Again, struck very nicely through mid on. He's going to beat them both for four runs. I spread this on drive pretty well here this morning. Allison again. Again, it's good on drive. Other side of mid on this time. No, no chance of stopping that. No way down to that to nursery end in the far corner. One for two, sees uh, Sri Lanka 200 ahead now. It's a good shot. Wait it for it. Chopped it away down to a third man boundary for four runs. Two more overs in the course of which two runs were scored to take the lunchtime total up to 93 for two. Vedamuni for 13 and Madagula for three. The men out. Silver for 39 and uh, Roy Dias looking to be in good form. 27 not out. Both of them the man taking.